Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday of Passion Week. This day is referred to as Passover and Last Supper. Now, while Jesus was still there in Bethany, he sent Peter and John ahead of him uh, to the upper room in Jerusalem for them to make preparation for the Passover feast. Now, that evening after sunset, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples as they prepared to share the Passover. Now, by performing this humble act of service, Jesus demonstrated uh, and gave an example for us as believers how we ought to love one another. Now, then afterwards, he shared uh, the feast of the Passover with his disciples, and he said to them, I have been very eager to eat this Passover meal with you, he says, before my sufferings began. For I tell you that I will not eat of this meal again until uh, it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And that can be found in Luke chapter 22, verses 15 and 16. Now, as the Lamb of God, Jesus was about to fulfill the meaning of the Passover by giving his body to be broken and his blood to be shed in sacrifice. What this did was freed us from the penalty of sin and death. Now, during the Last Supper, Jesus also established the Lord's Supper or communion, giving us as believers instruction to continue to remember his sacrifice by sharing in those two elements of bread and wine. And this is found in Luke chapter 22, verses 19 to 20. Now, a little later on that evening, Jesus and his disciples uh, they left the upper room and they went out into the Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus prayed in agony for God the Father to let this cup pass away from him. Now, uh, it says that uh, that sweat became like great drops of blood that fell to the ground. And uh, Lee Strobel in his book, uh, The Case for Easter, interviews a doctor that caused this hematidrosis. He says, where extreme agony and anxiety uh, causes the release of chemicals that are in, uh, causes the breakdown of the capillaries and the sweat glands. And as a result, there's small amounts of bleeding uh, that enters into the sweat glands. So last, uh, later on that evening, or later in the evening in, Gethsemane, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus was betrayed with a kiss by Judas Iscariot and he was arrested by the Sanhedrin Council, and he was taken to the home of Caiaphas, the high priest, where they began to take counsel on how they can make a case against Jesus. Now, this is all that uh, occurred, or these are the things that occurred on Thursday of Passion Week. And these can be found in Matthew chapter 26, verses 17 to 75, and Mark uh, chapter 14, verses 12 to 72, and also in Luke, chapter 22, verses 7 to 62, and then in John, chapter 13, verses 1 through 38. May God bless you. May he keep you. Uh, is our prayer. Continue to lift up one another in prayer and make it a great day on purpose. God bless you.